Commentary for the inaugural race of MMS Touring Car Cup, Race of Britain, presented to you by Kai and Toodles. Hello and welcome to a brand new MMS series. This is the Touring Car Cup, where four classes of teams in a variety of cars go head to head in order to achieve success. The first race of the season takes us to the Donington Park Circuit in Great Britain, playing host to the Race of Britain. 32 laps ahead of us around the 3.2 km national layout, we should be in for a cracking debut for this exciting new series. Before that done, let's get down to the grid with Kai. Yup, in all pole position we have Tony Andretti, pole position in his class and pole position overall, which will award him 3 points towards the class standings and 1 point towards the main standings. The man who is definitely a stock car talent, also being a definite touring car talent, putting his Volvo 240 Turbo on pole position for Monster Racing. Join him on the first row of the grid, we have uh, Kyle Connor. Interesting debutant, uh, driving under the Ukrainian license for Material Racing with a beautiful livery, putting his Skyline GTSR uh, on 2P2. Then we have Minandola, who is pole position in Class 3. Simons, De Jong, Glezos, Johnson, Miller, Hutchinson, Harvey, Flynn, Rakus, Van Laren, Keith, Tehun, Witt, Kowalski, Jarmson, Davies, Aguirre, Ambrose, Chernienkov being uh, pole position in class 2, Great, Gabor, McCormick, Baumgarten, Brown, Jiren, Keith, Bishop being pole position in the Escort class, aka class 1, Vola, Faulkner, Mears, uh, and Hamburg, and Amberger, sorry, rounds off the grid. So, Tiros, um, let's go to the five eyes as I have a call. Yes, we're going to go to the line. <coughs> so Tony Andretti will lead the field into the first corner, or will he? Will Connor get the launch? Lights out. Randall with a good start. Andretti with a great start. Rocketing away from them all. They go down into the first corner. Carl Connor down the inside, though. As they go through the first corner. And indeed, he is through on the Volvo up into the lead. Goes Connor. Andretti is in second now with Simon just behind him. Mm -hmm. Then there is the Mercedes just behind of Mirandola, yeah. Yeah. who had a good start but was swamped into the first corner by Simons and as a result has dropped behind. Then there's the Zack Speed Cup of Panos Glezos. Yes. And so they're all pretty much line of stern then. The top few there is one of the out uh, that is um, a move from Miranda on um, Simons hasn't managed to pull it off Glezos and I believe Johnson are having a fight behind this is Simons now having a go at oh oh we have uh, Amberger already an out failure. Amberger is out in turn I think that's turn two no that's that turn is. one no that's turn Amberger's one Amberger's oh, engine my. just blew on the start how? How? Uh, he just caught some fire immediately. It's already gone! Oh my god. Maybe overheated it on the grid, Ooh. I'm not sure, but that's that's a Over revving perhaps, but yeah, big shame. So um, here we go uh, the chicane, which now. is an action zone. Yeah, Simon loses the position to Yep, and look at this now. Harvey getting swapped by Hutchinson, and I also believe that was one of the RBM cars. Ignore the yellow flag that's for my, uh, for my car because I crashed it too late. I got a call from a relative, so yeah, I had to pick up. Uh, yeah, messy yeah, start, but now I'm back, so we are ready to yeah. give you some commentary. Johnson and Miyano go side by side. You know, it's really interesting to see these uh, class 3 cars here challenging for uh, higher positions. Yeah, um, it is. And let's yeah, see. It's, great, it's great to see that we've got more than just one class fighting for the win. We've got Rakus versus Harvey. There's a big train here. Um, yeah, I think Keith dropped uh, two <laughs> positions from the start, so not no good yeah. news for him. Yeah, so that train led by Josh Flynn in the Alfa Romeo, um, and quite a big train. Flynn's starting to break away from Van Laren, however. So. Yep. There's a lot of new names uh, in MMS, especially in the touring car series. Do you think these people will have a shot at higher series like Formula Junior or most importantly Formula One? Um, it depends really how much attention they attract in um, the touring car cup. Of course, 
you could with we saw with like MMS NASCAR and stuff. I believe it was Marcus Littiger was winning the championship in Formula One. However, wasn't particularly right up the front in MMS NASCAR. So there is variety between the different open wheel and closed cockpit series. Yeah, but now Glazel's so, past um, Urandala here, so the uh, Ford Cosworth uh, Sierra RS is slowly. Uh, going up the field as Connor has just skyrocketed into the lead, pulling away from Paul Setter, Tony Andretti. Obviously the point system overall is top 15, but there is also the separation for classes, and each classes uh, have their own championship con in constructors slash teams and in uh, drivers. Yeah. So there's a lot to fight for here. Also, we have changeable conditions because Britain, which will get interesting because Amirano might actually send a move here onto Simon's Let's see, yep, and maybe down inside of Glezos, no, but passes Simon, so something's wrong about that skyline here. A beautiful skyline, I have to add. Yeah, the skyline is starting to kind of slip down the order. That is Flynn now versus Harvey. Obviously, you have to pay attention to the fact that we will have pit stops this race. Yeah, and it's will. starting to rain. It is starting so to rain. You can see as the frames drop because they have to turn on the headlights for oh, rainy conditions. Uh, which will drop the frames because well headlights but interesting as now we have the escort but this is not the escort class this is the class 2 escorts uh, there's a beautiful battle here but not quite as awful escorts yeah they're actually good like they, they, they might dominate um, uh, class 2 as Chernenkov has already dropped down to 28th horrible start the man started on 22nd and pole position Chen Meyer is amazing uh, Mier, sorry, uh, amazing comeback. He started like 33rd and he's already up in the 27th. Yeah, and then we have the, um, then we have the escorts, but it doesn't yeah, seem to be any two, rain. Yeah, the two, um, the two escorts of, um, Bishop and Faulkner have swapped around. Bishop was on the pole, Faulkner third in the class, and they've swapped yep. around now, so... As now we have a battle for P1 overall and in class one, Connor Andretti and Glezos. Yeah. Let's see. Cautiously on the braking. This chicane is very hard when you're trying to make an overtake. Because you really have yeah. to be sure. Oh that's uh, Andretti a little bit deep. Um, yeah, but look at this now, it's a five-way battle with a class three car of Mario Mirandola battling here. And yeah. I think the rain is dropping off. I think it was a very quick amount of rain. Going for it on Andretti. Is Andretti going to pull it off and keep it around the outside? I think Glezos is going to get it. Yep, he does. And Lezos now in the background, we can also see Simons and Mirandola going side by side. And there we go. Mirandola gets him. And now might actually start attacking Tony Andretti as the rain is seriously going off here. So it was just like a short breeze. Um, yeah, I might have to turn off the time um, passing because. That's, I think, what's causing this rain glitch thing, so, uh, yeah, the time escalation will be lowered for future races to the thing that we have in Formula 1, so we don't get issues with the rain and other weather, uh, you know, learning from experience happens to all of us, as now, Ethan Bishop, I don't think he's having an issue, but he's severely dropped off the other two escorts of Falkland and Voda. Yeah, and, of course... Only one RBM escort left, Luciana Amberger out already. Yep, as now we have Tamer de Jong battling for P2. No, sorry, people oh, oh, he, he lost it. Hutchinson and de Jong had a bit of a mess there. Oh, Simon's all out of shape. And look at de Jong now. We look at Simon's, look at the acceleration of the skyline. That car is just something else. Yes, And now he, might, he actually tough. went from... Defense to offense, attacking Andretti for the lead, and I think he's got him. I think he might get him to the end. No, I don't think he will, though he has the inside line. Which yeah. is, in theory, uh, better now. Oh, back yeah, that Andretti that has the traction as of that corner. Yeah. Mitch Johnson, then, in the um, car. I can't remember uh, that's uh, the, I think that's the high, yeah, I think that's the high ground motorsports car. Uh, using yes. the Holden VL HDT, yeah. uh, Holden so, Commodore. Yeah, we, we have a massive variety of manufacturers. We have Holden, we, we have do, Alfa Romeo, yeah. BMW, Mercedes, Rover. Who knows what a Rover is? Sorry, but <laughs> it's just British, basically. That is Tame and I think you tried to move on. I 
think it was Hutchinson. Yeah, it might have been. Lost a lot of time. Can I, yeah, speaking of a gone. rover, there is Albert Rakus having a front row seat at Battle of Johnson and the Young. Yes, he is, and he might just get involved with it as well. Yeah, and he's going to get yeah. Johnson because Johnson goes wide through the chicane, and there we Johnson go, Rakus got him. Yeah, there's one of the Kohlsteiners as well, that's Isabel Harvey, the number 40 car, trying to get involved with this. Let's see, and yeah, that, she might actually pull a move here. Ooh, oh, there's a bit of a bump. Robin's racing in touring cars, you just have to accept that. As the rain, yeah. yeah, the wet is really off. The, the rain is calmed down, the headlights are about to go off, and the frames will go back to normal. Yeah, so... Van Laren actually here. Uh, Johnson's going so slowly, his teammate might actually make a move on him, and Miller. Yeah. Now, uh, which lap do you think the escorts will be lapped at? Um, well, I'm not sure. You can just see the 33rd place car. I believe that's from that looks like Bishop to me. Yeah, that probably. is Bishop. He's two um, point quite far back. Yeah, 2.1 seconds of the next car. He might have yes. some engine issue. I'm not sure, but he's very much off the pace. As then we have Charleston well, trying to um, overtake Tehune, but didn't work. Flynn has dropped off as well. I don't know if it was a incident probably sh it should have been an incident really because well Flynn has been driving top-notch in a way in Alfa Romeo just cruising around and it's kind of abnormal to see him so low in such a short yeah, span of time so I suspect an incident here let's do a rewind right, time it, it does look a bit like an incident because he's kind of pulled away quite a bit from Adric Keith since we've done this um, oh no I think he just was passed no, but no, he was in the other pack. He was ahead of Tehune when we were with him. Yeah, he was. Oh yeah, look how da how much down he dropped. I mean, it might have been as well just him losing pace. And I think that was the case, yeah. He was in this pack and just lost pace. And there's a bit of battles now. Kowalski, Ambrose, Aguirre and Vid battling two Polish drivers, one Australian and one Argentinian. Yeah. Beautiful liveries on the BMWs. A shame they're so down the order. Yeah. Let's look at this. Kowalski trying to make a double sure. overtake. Yeah, not quite on there, and he's just going to go deep now. Yeah. And Ambrose is just going to go flying back at him. Let's see, Bongo and McCormick and great the two great motorsports, uh, great motorsport, yeah, uh, cars battling here for the inevitable lead in Class Two. Side by side into turn one. I think this is McCormick's place to go. No, great. To the outside, tries to defend. They're going to continue going side by side, but I know it is McCormick who will take this. And now Keith and Brown from the Simtech Ford uh, racing team now uh, might actually start to attack these guys. Then we have Mies ahead of his team. But as there we go, headlights are off. So the track is rain free as now we might see that is Panos Gazos making a move on to Tony Andretti now Mirandola tries to attack for the old bit of contact there between Carl Connor and the Mercedes of Mirandola uh, but yeah. no damage no spinning this is so I'd unbelievably clean for touring cars yeah look at this now oh. try it. no Andretti cuts him off and half half to move on Mirandola is that going to compromise his line no it isn't Andretti might actually have another shot at Mirandola into the first corner. Yep, there he goes. He's pulling to the inside. He's going to try and overtake yeah, the Mercedes, but now he's losing a lot of time. And Glezos might try and make a move onto the outside. No, Andretti just Whoa. has to slot him behind. Yeah. And but I'm... Um, yeah, go on. It's a very long Volvo, so if you've got a small gap to kind of slot into, maybe just misjudgment, perhaps. Yeah. Don't know. But I mean, we have a, a very long car. Yeah, we have a few long cars. Another one is the Skyline here. Yeah, uh, the Skyline is a very, very long car. But I think that might benefit these cars when you think of it. There's more airflow well, for the car. Yeah, you've got longer wheelbases, so yeah. you've got a bit more, a bit more space to play around with. Yeah, let's see, it's Andretti. Andretti. This is not a place away. you really want to make a move on. You'll most likely lose time because the outside line is a bit faster. And there we go, Miranda oh, overtakes him and that might actually give a lot of benefits to uh, Hutchinson here. I am still, I will I continue saying this, I'm surprised by the pace of the Venturi and Mercedes cars. Because, you know, yeah, I suspected um, like Korsteiner, these kinds of teams, to be a bit more up there with the BMWs, but no, it's it's the interior, oh. and I mean... Ooh, Glezel's a lot of shape, but obviously yeah. 
Venturia, Mercedes, they both teams have a lot of experience. Venturia, I mean, if, they get, if you look at them in Formula 1, they're a serious uh, competitor there. So, here we go. Simon's overtaking uh, Tame De Jong here. But no, De Jong to the outside and he defends from the skyline. May I add a way faster car? Oh, Simon's has a bit of a dent on his yeah, he does it. He bumper. Has his dent in the back. Johnson and Rackham. that on most cars for the end of these laps. Is Oh, Raku's smooth. Raku's with a lot of speed through that. Obviously, the team from Tokelau, a very mysterious uh, nation, uh, has given me some autonomy by the New Zealand, uh, New Zealand government, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, but a country that not many people know exists, but uh, uh, Willem Drillem uh, had enough money to set up a team from that uh, country, so... It's nice to see some variety. We obviously have, I believe, we have Turkmenistanish teams as well with Nabiyev. So yeah. th there is a lot of variety. Let's see. Glezos now trying to still overtake Hutchinson. It's surprising to see Glezos do so well. In FJ, he's not so fast. Oh, the young. That is too close for comfort to the rear of Hutchinson. He loses some traction, but not too much. And with the power of the Cosa engine, he might actually overtake Hutchinson into turn one. Oh my god, look yeah, at Simons. Look at the run Simons got. Out oh my of nowhere. Lord. Yeah, I think De Jong was kind of held up behind Yeah, but De Jong the uses the De Jong tactic and slams into the door uh, of Simons, but I didn't do anything. He's keeping his position. Hutchinson and Simons side by side with Hutchinson keeps the position. As Timmy De Jong, definitely in a Formula 1 talent. Um, just the and Andrea de uh, Cesaris, really. Of Andrea uh, Cesar is very talented, but um, yeah, accident very prone. As well, yeah. I think t touring cars will suit him just well. Yeah, you've got like Ooh, the kind of little run tactic. Harvey tried to make it to the outside, back to the front. Mirandola <laughs> is still keeping his P2 from Tony Andretti. Great driving from Mario Mirandola. Obviously, this is uh, relative to Giovanni Pico della Mirandola. Uh, not yeah. such a great. Uh, um, Formula Junior talent, but he won a race in the previous season. Uh, speaking of Giovanni here, so yeah, look at the speed of the Skyline just blasting past the Mercedes. Just this is not such a power circuit, surprisingly. Ooh. And when it is, Ooh, there is not a lot of yeah, there is not a lot of space to overtake around um, uh, Donington Park. So this is a really um, tough situation for the drivers. As we go, Simon's down inside yeah. of Hutchinson, side by side, a bit of a Door Rob, but I think it's going to be Simon's position here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And Dion will now try and get through. Look at this. Big Miller train. and uh, Hewn. Miller has dropped <laughs> off a bit. Here we go. Yeah, down inside. Straight there we go. through. Yeah, and that is, uh, I believe, who's that in the... Is that Jamson? That yeah, is that's Jamson. And, that, and Van Laren. Flynn has a front row seat to this battle. And will actually benefit a lot if these guys continue battling like that. Surprisingly, only one retirement so far. Obviously, the reliability is not the greatest. And teams are only able to upgrade the reliability in the cars. Of, uh, yeah, apart from Flynn. the extra cars. Flynn, now he's out of Van Laren, it actually works. This is not yeah. the most usual thing. But now, I think Van Laren will defend on the outside. No! Actually, no, well, Flynn gets the move done. There goes Flynn, yeah. Surprisingly, so make it work. So that could be a thing that Flynn does. Then just dives it down the inside of the corner before, just then gets the run through the next. Oh, yeah, the Raku's Raku's actually Raku. keeps the track, keeps the wide. grip. How on earth did he do that in a rover Vitas? He keeps the grip of the car, and he actually has a preferable inside line coming into turn one, and might overtake yeah. Harvey. As Harvey is coming into the pits, I think the pits of face is open. Harvey is hitting. So, or her gearbox yeah. is knob knobbed. Oh, I oh, think her gearbox is knobbed. I'm not. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, her, her gearbox is knobbed. I mean, she, she's yeah, second fit so. gear, but it's not so bad in these cars. The only thing that kind well, of third gear, yeah, it's just it's yeah, not these, as bad as with yeah. other gears. Like lower gears could have been a lot worse. Higher gears as well, because you have to like you know build the car up for the RPM. Yeah, and with higher gears, you just don't have any torque because you've got yeah. the low RPM. And there's this Miranda look over the lead. No, not not going to work. You've seen, too, you've seen a lot of uh, moves here, and I think only Flynn's moved work, so... Yep, yeah, so here comes Simons. Look at Simons' run. 
Might try and get Andretti, but Andretti goes from around a little bit. Simon Zoli gets Glezos, and he's gonna keep that position to him, and Andretti to the outside, he tried to sneak onto Miranda, but there just was not enough space, and Andretti just had to back out space. of it, and, and look at Simon. Simon's. That skyline has been great out of the final chicane, and Simon's doesn't try it into the first corner. Also, thinking of a different move. Yes. We're approaching the escort class. We are approaching the Ascot class. <laughs> the best class in the world. As Harvey is officially out of the race. Shame. Yeah, so, yeah Harvey was running highest of the Korsteiner cars. So. Yeah, and Porsche now Miller is kind of dropped down. I mean, Miller, he's gained a position, but she has to get past Johnson and other teams because obviously the class championship gives you. I mean, positions in the class really give you payouts from spot, uh, payouts basically, uh, win, uh, know, prizes, right? Uh, so yeah. you really have to push, and obviously the team's championship in classes is very important. So you also have to remember about that. Vit now trying to defend from Kowalski. The two Polish drivers battling. Then we have Baumgarten, who's just been strolling out. McCormick's battling with Davies. I mean, this is a class two car. How is that even possible? Davies is just going very slow. You might see a history made here with a class 4 car being overtaken by a mere class 2 escort. Well, I, lo I love just how, like, baby like the escort makes. Yeah. It looks so small compared to the. Oh my god, he's actually going to send it on the Davies. He's going to go for it. Down the inside. Oh. He backs out of that one, come. but he's going to follow him through. This is, this is, this is biblical scenes, okay? Yeah, I thought it might have been just a little bump and run from McCormick trying to spin Davies around a little bit. Yeah, but McCormick, I, I don't believe this. It's either Davies is so slow or McCormick is so fast. But I mean, seeing as the other escorts are catching up, I think the uh, latter yeah. is the... Yeah, uh, and look, look at the leaders now on the mini-map. You can see they're right up with... Um, they're right up with the likes of Bishop Faulkner, who are in the escorts. Oh, yeah. Look at this. There's a massive battle here. Glezos is... No, that's Johnson. That's Glezos' teammate. Look at this. That's now an attempt from Miller to go to the outside of Johnson. Didn't work. Still going to try and attempt to move sooner or later, because obviously it's Marie Miller. There we go. Speaking of which, will she have the grip to overtake Johnson? Not yet. But Flynn tries to get around to Tehyun, doesn't work, but after the leaders... Oh, there is really free wide into the hairpin, and Glezos and Hutchinson, oh. a lot of contact between these two. A lot of rubbing, and here we go, through the escort class, Andretti slices through. Oh my god, Simon's just... Simon. got, Simon's got held up so much, Glezos and Mirandola going Simon. side by side. I think this is Glezos' position to take. Mirandola says no, bumps into his doors, but I think this is Glezos who will get the position. Yes, he is, and now look at Hutchinson. Mirandola's teammate is going to go right um, to the back of his teammate, no moves done yet, Simon's finally got past. But the escort class, this is what it's all already about. It's so slow, you really have to manage your car through that field. Well, yeah. well you can't really do anything, you're just that slow. Oh, Look at this, are holding up Glezos. Glezos is battling for yeah. the overall podium here and this is really harming him. Because yeah, and this is the, here's the thing though, Faulkner just, he's trying to just run his own race, if he gets out of the way in this kind of bit, he's just going to lose heaps of time and he yeah. might get out and now of Andretti down the inside of corner for the lead, this is crucial for the races, Andretti still keeps his nose there but not going to work, Glezos is pulling away, Miranda are finally overtaken, uh, has overtaken Faulkner with Hutchinson and De Jong, Simons as well, you see, yeah, this is just like Simon. lapping cars in um, endurance. Look at this, this is Simons now going for the inside oh, of De Jong. He nearly got the young on the power, but you know the run up to the chicane is just yeah, too yeah. short. Yeah, just and he's going to lose the car. Oh, he loses it. Johnson might get on the back of him, but the skyline's powerful. As this is as you have rain again, wrapped. rain registered. As there's uh, some lights. As Kowalski now loses it, and Bargart and might pass him. Ah, oh, this is embarrassing yeah. for BMW. I mean, at least the other team is doing well, sort of. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, Kowalski so, down inside of it. No, Baumgarten actually will get Kowalski and probably mug him. No. Oh, oh Davies now, has been overtaken by McCormick. McCormick has absolutely mugged Davies. Let's see, we go the Toyota class really, which is Toyota class two car. with the with yeah. the um, the escorts that we have just seen, but they're just slower. Yeah. Here we go, Chernyenkov trying to get Gabor. 
Uh, both of the Nabiev cars, this is b by the way the two Nabiev teams. Just one of them is supported by um, Toyota, the other one isn't. Glezos yeah. has taken the lead out of nowhere. What happened? What did we miss? Was maybe down into the first. Oh, corner. that oh, is beautiful. Corner make a bit of a mistake. Glessel just sniffs the opportunity and makes the move, and Andretti followed him with a beautiful move to the outside of corner. Yeah, so that's going to be around the outside of this little left kink, and then yeah, so great. Yeah, because seeing the kind of differential now. between cars with headlights on and off, maybe just different teams getting different data because on the rain. Because we, we have the little weather data thing, and it's saying only 4% wet. So I don't know how severe that rain might be, but... Yeah, it's getting higher though. It's, it's slowly creeping up. Yeah, as now Jamson making a move onto Tamer de Jong. Obviously, Tamer de Jong in a slower car, in theory. Bumps into his uh, side, and this is Jamson's position, I believe. There's still... So now, yeah, here we go. Squirming on the traction. Obviously, the, the Forza uh, Cosworth is uh, one of the best cars on the grid, really. Uh, yeah, it is. It's very fast, and so yeah. using that, using that extra advantage of having that car, Glezos and Johnson, um, yep. very much fighting for the higher positions. Obviously, uh, we also have one of the top uh, cars. Obviously, the Skyline, the Volvo. I am surprised about really, in today's race. I mean, it's mainly Andretti, I think, that's carrying the team, because Taehyun is down to, like, what, 13, 14, yeah. as now Miranda tried to send yeah. a move on the corner, didn't work, and now Simons, his teammate, might yeah. finally make the move. Obviously, Mercedes... Yeah. Think about the Class 3 teams. The Class 3 is a very fast class. It's just that, you know, the displacement yeah. put them uh, lower. As now Hutchinson to the outside of Simons here. I think that might yeah. work. Simon goes very Whoa. wide, very loose, but obviously the Skyland has some amazing traction and power deliverance right out of the it corners. Does. And the main straight here, Simons might actually get Miranda, get Miranda right before the corner. He got him before the corner, but Miranda might use the outside into turn one. Yes, he does. And now Hutchinson nearly spins Simons around. They're going to still continue going side by side and. Silence um, got the through. position. As Hutchinson and Johnson dives the in to the inside of Nate. I thought he might have gone for Miranda there, but nah. no, he doesn't. That would be too that risky. Is. Like hitting into your teammate is not a good idea, really. And it would have ended like yeah. that. So, good job. Uh, yeah. You know, slowly thinking. As now my colleague the escort lapping an escort. Lapping. I, I was thinking like escort why. versus escort. As the rain has dropped off, so there isn't even visible rain. It's just that regulations force the drivers to do that. So, and by regulations, yeah. I mean the coding in the mod. As oh god, Voda and Bishop have to battle for this. position. Was the there being a battle of the escorts? The battle of the ages. <laughs> like if the you look at this, escort. yeah, the 69 of Bishop about to overtake. Uh, the 70 of oh, Voda, here we go, Davies dives to the inside, trying to just lab these guys, but it's just not really possible. Bishop was fighting for position, and now he probably lost the chance to fight with these guys, yeah, which is I a thought, shame. I thought Bishop might have just embarrassed um, um, Davies out of the corner, because Davies was very slow out of the corner. If Bishop had embarrassed him, I, I think we, we should have like a drinking game for every time like an escort. R1600i, like, overtakes someone. Oh, like, Connor to the outside of Andretti! <laughs> Nothing happens. Yeah, so... Yeah, but both of the Skylines now, uh, they dropped off in, like, what, the, the mid part of the race. Now they're back. Yes, now they're back they on the front. Simon's obviously having a combat rather than being stuck with that, those guys. Both of the Skylands making moves and I don't think any of them will be effective, although Connor still has his nose down there, but that's not going to work. But he might get a beautiful Skyline launch that Skyline is, should really be known for this season. Here we go. There's Simon's doesn't really think much of it. He's going to send it. Maybe even down inside of his teammate. Yes, he does. This is yes, an attempt of a double yeah, overtake. They He's touch and oh, Simon's oh, loses the car. Very nearly spins. Obviously, he's gonna get Miranda on sheer acceleration here, but oh, you just can't attack your teammate like that, James. Yeah, so <coughs> just gotta. And I think did I see one of those pitting? I think I saw. Yes, there is someone pitting. That's 16 car. 
Yeah, the, the pits are putting those open, by the way. By the looks of it. Van Lauren is into the pits. It's and this is a mandatory Lauren. stop. Let's see where he will exit. And let's see the length of the pit stop. Uh, to get an estimate about how long these might be. Obviously, this is tires, this is fuel. And they're doing them like one by one. So, front tires, put the car down. Rear tires, put the car down. 21 seconds, so around 20 seconds we should expect these pit stops. Look at the Toyota. Look at the Nabiev class. The Nabiev class is <laughs> uh, We have, I think this is Nabiev. Um, this is the normal Nabiev. I think the, the guys behind are the touring, uh, the Nabiev Toyota cars. So Toyota being shamed by um, a customer team. <laughs> Whilst yeah. themselves also using a customer team. This is going to yeah. get very confusing, just Nabiev overall. Here we go! Actually, Simon's made a move on to Glezos now. And Glezos poor exit. Mirandola tried it, but Glezos is coming into the pits. As yeah, they Glezos turn off their headlights. Glezos, Hutchinson, Johnson. Both of the Zaxby cars coming in. Interesting strategic gamble. Queer, Keith, and also... There was Jones. one more car. Kowalski, Ambrose... There might be some incidents in the pit lane, so I'm just not going to show them because uh, incidents in the pit lane cannot be reviewed. And I know they might happen, so I'm just going to uh, yeah avoid that. Avoid embarrassment. All, nearly all the cars are pitting. Oh, Ragus is low on fuel. Oh no, that's a smoking engine! Same with the arm! Big smoking engine! That's obviously leaking oil onto the circuit, this is not good. Oh, this is a no Oh man. You gotta feel for Tamer de Young. You it's just gotta... Oh man. Yeah, the As there's a move for the lead from Connor onto Andretti, I think Connor's gonna get it. Yes, Connor's got it. Yeah, Connor's got, got the lead power. coming into the pits. Because they're open. No, Con no, Andretti is staying out. I don't think that's a smart decision. Out. I don't think that's a smart decision because, yeah, obviously the, the, yeah. the pit stop takes a major chunk of the lap because it's so short. Yeah, but it does. So in comes Connor. In comes Simons as well. In comes yeah, the both majority the of the field. Mirandola, here so, we go. De Jong with a smoking engine. I, I think he will be retired. He might just be retired. Either that or they'll try and die. No, he's, he's, the no, he's, he's he out. Is, he's just retired. Oh, he's Baum got him! Oh, Baum got him! Jill, what Jill Baum got him. What did you do? Did On board with the me? Rover. Well, That's some weird lines there, weird man. Line. Yeah, he's going... Then he just comes into the pit lane. Has he hit the tire? Oh my god, that's an embarrassment. You must hit! He just locks up, he locks up into the pit lane. Oh, he's locked up into the pit lane. Just about clips. I think it was just the wheel arc. Yeah, no, 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 that wasn't the wheel arc. Actually, I think that was, um, the side, that was the door that clipped. Yeah, it was. And look at the big dent. They're going to have to repair yeah. all that v damage. Willem Drillum ain't happy about that. Nah, Villain Drillen will be he'll be having some very strong words with Van Garten after that one. Yeah. As look at this the Toyota class, obviously they will have to put later because they have smaller power so they use less fuel. Yes, and this is this is what this is where the escorts the escort cars get to works. unlap themselves in theory. They get to unlap themselves in theory, due to the fact that they they've got very much smaller engines. Of course pretty sure one point six it's in the name. Wait, did the BMWs pit? I swear, if the BMWs have pit, this is a the massive... BMWs, I believe, have pit. Yeah, because they are ahead of Johnson. They Strategic masterstroke. I tell you. Yeah, they did and pit. A st strategic stroke. Oh, from John. John Jankov, there's a bit of a bump. And now Amber, to be outside, is going to get boxed in. Oh, no. He got boxed in. Johnson is out as Leader well. In. Leader in, Andretti is in. Johnson is out of the race. Oh, is he? Yeah, he is. And he is it, wow. Wait, what? Yeah, Mitch Johnson, what happened to Mitch Johnson? Obviously, we have to investigate all the... There's the a lot of deaths. Has he been in a run-in with someone? Probably, yeah, for the whole race. I mean, we've seen a lot of, like, side-by-side... -side. Oh! I think it might just be a problem. It's either a problem or he ran out of fuel. Because I don't think we've seen him in a pit stop. Oh no, he was exiting out of the pit lane. What happened? Oh, okay. This is strange. S 
Luke the engine. Blue. The, no, engine, engine. Blue. the engine. The engine blew out of the pit lane. What is? What are the odds? Well, it might just be like maybe it was a long oh, stop. Oh, bomb got to run out of fuel. Oh, the engine. Oh, uh, the engine's gone. Oh, the engine. Engine. Too blew much up. damage. The T too much damage, I believe, from that contact, and Bam Gotten is out of the race. Yeah, Igor so Vit is leading the race as we speak. As Tony Andretti is leading the pit lane, <laughs> Davies, will, <laughs> get Davies will get him. Davies will get him. Callum Davis has gotten him. And look at Carl Connor. Oh, no, he doesn't get Andretti, but I think with a better line for turn one, Carl Connor will take the lead. Oh, Carl Connor, contact. Yeah, um, but at the moment, it's a Mustang 1 and 2. They still have to pit, of course, but the Orland Racing do. Team risking the strategy, and I think it might pull, pay off. It might just pull a massive advantage, as this is... Oh, there's Scott Thomas, here Boda. we go. Look at Adric Keith here, I yeah, he's going to make a move to the outside of Van Laren. Going to go down the inside of Voda. Voda's going to fight him. <laughs> yeah, this is obviously the Simtech Tech 3 uh, Toyota Racing. Simtech having two teams in uh, two different classes. Uh, this um, is just sad, though. They're stuck behind a legend. John Voda. <laughs> he's like 42. He in, in I think he's 42. He's 42. He's very much a gentleman racer, is John Voda. Yeah, but I mean, he's taking his time. He's in the slowest car, so I think this is perfect for him. He's, As he's Keith still is trying to pass him. Oh, nearly spins him out. That's doo doo. Oh my god. Van Laren to the outside. Aguirre, the two Simtech Toyotas here making a move. And Van Laren will be boxed in behind Voda. And look at Simons coming through. Yeah, Simons is. Oh, here he goes. Going not going to make a move onto Van Lau and he's going to wait for his acceleration to kick in on the exit. As at the front, we have a battle that, yeah, Davies has lost a lot of pace. I mean, I'm not surprised. The Mustang is Davies not a... Very slow. It's not and a race winning car. Oh, he's blocking bit. Andretti! Look at that! Yeah, looking at it into... Is that the old heaven? I'm not sure. I don't know corner names. I don't know the corner right names as well. So this As now Faulkner, Voda and Bishop, so the whole escort class is in the pits. Yes. Oh, Andretti oh, rams yeah. into the back of Davies. And that's the touring yeah. cars we have asked for. Yeah, look at this, there's a load of cars in the pit lane. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if we saw it. Is Egan Vitt coming into the pits as well? No, and but he's low on fuel. fuel. So he's going to he come runs, in is he gonna this lap. Is there someone... Up. Is Ken Mears in the pit lane? I think he's like sideways in his box or something. I don't think that's normal for Ken Mears in the pit lane. I said that we might have some shenanigans with yeah, the pits. So he's, oh, he's, oh, he's Bishop collided is, with Bishop! Bishop is stuck behind him, okay. So I said that we What's will have happened? calamities in the pits, right? Is he, is he just trying to pull into his box? As Bishop just... Bishop tried to oh, exit the pit lane and just didn't have the oh turn. Oh my... Yeah, Bishop's race is as good as over, let's be honest. Yeah. Same with Mier's race, is. Uh, Mier's race, really. Oh, well, Mier's might get going again. Johnson, though, he got destroyed by strategy. Yes, he Look has. how low he... Look at the dent in the front of his car! Does he, have an he might have had an instance in the pit lane, because that's a very... Look at this! Dent. Look at that! That's a massive dent, and I believe it was in the pits, but jeez! I think that's what actually set him so so far down. The pit lane might yeah, have done so. Obviously getting held up in yeah. the pits, and then maybe just going at the back of someone. There's nothing I can do. Donington has amazing racing. But the pit lane is just a bit iffy, but it's fine for the most part. It's, it's just fine for the most part. His jumps and down yeah, the Yeah, he's gonna pop a move. Bishop is out of the race. Yeah, Bishop out. So he was already running right to the back. So yeah, the team just decided, yeah. hey, you know what, mate, pull to the box. Miller is pitting this. Oh, Miller. it's Miller with a gearbox issue. Oh, don't tell me. I think is it actually another gearbox issue for the Kolsteiner BMW oh, team? Oh my, I think it is. I think it is. It is. It's it is. third it's gear as well. It's third gear as well for the Kolsteiner BMW team. So this is just so a both nightmare. Cars. Both this is, cars. This is woeful out. news. Yep. Yeah, it's confirmed. Yellow so flags. Yellow flags. Chernyenko oh, is that's out. That's an engine blow up. That's an engine explosion, I would even dare to say. Big. Oh yeah, he's just pulled off. Yeah, oh, that's smoky. He just does a <laughs> slide. Beautiful parking job. Yeah, just totally. don't inhale the fumes. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... I said that reliability is quite poor in these cars, I wasn't joking. That's the yellow flag also for Chinenko. Yep. So. That's Henry J. Brown, just in front of yep. Johnson, and Johnson's going to try bump and run. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to work. Miller out of the race. Sad to see, really. Yeah. Simons is yeah. not battling Gaguia. I think this is for position because I don't think these guys have to pit. Flynn is in fourth ahead of Glezos. Connor is just yeah, pulling away from Andretti. Mirandola is just having a, sat uh, a Saturday night stroll here. Or Sunday night, whatever. Just, you know, driving around, not really caring about anything in the, in the world. Here goes Glezos. Here go Glezos. Danny's are not going to work. Flynn is going to fight back to the in uh, uh, on the outside, sorry, and he's going to get the move. Albert Rack is really surprising in the row of the test as now Guida has been passed by Simons and Hutchinson as well for the good measure. Mm -hmm. So, there's a Guira versus um, Hutchinson. Van Laren has lapped that. someone. Uh, the Sol uh, Fina sponsored car in this race of William Gyron. Mm -hmm. McCormick now uh, uh, lapping Gabor. They're in the same class, by the way. Uh, they're in so. the same class and they're lapping each other. So McCormick's really fast, seemingly, in these touring cars. I mean, there's no doubt he has a lot of talent, uh, especially when you look at FJ. As now, oh, that's a BMW, I believe, of Ambrose trying to overtake great. I am still amazed how these small little escorts are battling C4 cars. Yeah, they're, they're so tiny. They're ridiculously tiny, like the, the 635 CSI is so long, you've just got this teeny little escort. There's now great has been overtaken by both of the BMWs in his, in, his, in his little tiny Discord. Discord what? Escort. <laughs> Am I having tiny a stroke Discord. from the heat? Help. Connor is just absolutely dominating this race. Raku's is actually kind of catching up to Glezos, who just lost so much time to Flynn. The Rover isn't even that long, like, it's, 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 um... The Rover the is a bug. The, the, the Volvo skyline is long. The, the Volvo, it, it, it's not matching its, um, box car, but it's close. Yeah. Here we go, here is Simons. I mean, all fastest lap is going to Connor Johnson. So I think he's in the clean air and he's on a nice road. The track is at 30 degrees Celsius, so not the hottest of periods for these cars. As the sun is slowly going down on the circuit. Let's see Keith uh, and Hutchinson side by side. Hutchinson just dives down his side, flies past. There's a battle for the lead between Andretti and Connor, but look at the acceleration of the skyline on the straights. It's just insane as there is a car out of the race. And a no! No! Both of the RBM cars are out. Both the RBMs. We're gonna we're gonna have a race with zero escort R sixteen hundred eyes at this rate. We've got one more left. That's four can only see uh, in in classes if you retire you still score points. Yeah you do, so uh -huh. But we've got one left, and it's James Faulkner. Come on, Faulkner. There's rain. There is <laughs> on rain. On the final laps of this race. Obviously, yes, the rain is. is just some few droplets, but, you know, regulations are regulations. They have to turn these things on. Yes. Uh, causing Here me to go. drop frame rates. As Simons and Rack is now battling for position, obviously, uh, uh, Simons, uh, uh, come on, just pass him. But Raku out of his like, misery of having to fight this. Obviously the Escorts cannot upgrade the, the, the reliability because it's stock. <laughs> uh, so... That's a, that's a very worrying sign for these guys. As There we go, Kim Tehyun battling with Matthias Van Laren. For position, let's see... It's really sad to see uh, Tehyun so down the order when his teammate is so high up. I mean, yeah, yeah, obviously, Andretti's experience, this is Kim Tae-hyun's first real proper start in his career. Uh, so, not surprised there, but, you know, thought the car would uh, carry him a bit more. 
Uh, so there we go, Hutchinson and Simon still battling. Just actually no, Hutchinson has been just pa uh, pa has just passed Simon. Simon's is dropping down. I don't know if it's just an issue in a car, or something else, but he's just n he's just losing pace now. Co um, yeah. Andretti has taken lead from Connor, but I don't yeah. think it will be for long, considering the pace of that menacing, beautiful-looking skyline. And James Fulton. And James. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The only escort. The <laughs> and only escort still in the race, and it's about to be he's about, for the second he, time. Yeah, Gabor then is next. Oh, this is, I mean, at least Falkland is going to win the race. Like, no matter what, he's going to win the race now. Yes, he is. That's the Davies. <laughs> so he has to celebrate about something. All he really has to do is just cruise to the line. Let's go. Will Connor send a move here? No, but they're closing. Oh, he actually does send a move. Very late. He's going to keep his nose in. No. But he's still very close. And now Mirandola. If these guys continue to battle as they're approaching the final lap of the race, we might see Mirandola fight for the uh, for the win here. Connor now. I think he's going to send it on to Andretti. Yes, he will. Down the inside of the Volvo. Is Connor going to get the position? No, he loses traction. Faulkner nearly unlaps himself on Faulkner's Connor. Faulkner's going to try it. No, he isn't. He's not got enough power. I mean, look, look at Mirandola, though. Mirandola is rapidly catching. Past. Here we go, final lap has just started, and look at Mirandola, unlikely from class 3, we might see him win this race if he's lucky enough. Yes. Andretti scoreball enough in this final lap. Johnson so, still with the fastest lap, obviously it awards you two points. Yes, it does, so... Here Andretti we go, Connor, very close to Andretti. Mirandola is just waiting for something to happen to these two. They're so close, Johnson is literally sniffing the bumper of Andretti and will he go for a move? No, Connor stays behind, but he's very, very close. Yes, he is, and Mirandola nearly falls about. Yeah, Mirandola is very speed. close. I think Connor is going to set it into the chicane. Miranda is just waiting there because he knows Connor is able to do it. And Connor will do it. He's going to gain a position on oh, him if he's lucky enough. It. Here we go. Connor for the lead on the final lap. What's going to happen? I think Connor's got enough pace. Oh my god, Connor's going to take the lead on the final corner of the final lap. Is he going to take it? No, he, he loses. Is he he loses off? traction. Oh, he's go deep in oh my Miranda lap. It's gonna Mirandola. be a side-by-side -side finish between these two, and he's got him. He's got Miranda. And he gets him, and he might get Andretti. No, he doesn't. Oh. Andretti, Andretti wins. wins. Connor in second, Miranda in third, Flynn in fourth, Glesos in fifth, Rakus and Hutchinson. The battle of the ages at sea. I think it's gonna be Rakus's position. Yes, it is. Then we're gonna have Keith Aguirre and Van Laren. Uh, next, I'm gonna have T Kim Taehyun, Johnson just lapping Jaren here, just cruising around. His his race was messed over by pit lane uh, yeah. calamities and all that. He's recovering, however, from yeah. the big. We're news, gonna have like, a even star of the race. Say what you want, but Valky McCormick finishing 14th <laughs> in a class two car. A dinky little yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Ambrose oh scoring the final point overall. Then we're gonna have Kowalski, Keith. Great Vit. I mean, this is just embarrassing for all. And as great as she might lap Gabo on the line. Beautiful. Yes. We have Brown. Davies just crawling to the finish. Well. Then there's Gyron. And then yeah, Mears. but they already were lapped and they already finished the race. As the final uh, fastest snap goes to Johnson officially, so he takes that. So yep. it's it hasn't been such a bad race. 26 finishers um, in this race. Not great, not terrible. As yeah. Andretti, all of them coming to the base. Here's the race winner in his beautiful Volvo. Chonky. Chonk indeed. Big grill before BMW knew it was cool. Yeah. And yep, so. Driver of the day? Um, Viking McCormick. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think you should probably say that. Nah. He's. <laughs> to be fair though, we, we should have awarded that to James Faulkner for actually finishing the race. Yeah, he finished the race, so... Very well done Faulkner. <laughs> yeah, so. but... Uh, to be fair though, Albert Rakus did... I think there's something impossible, really, when you think of it. Yeah, Rakus with that... I think it's, it's a Holden? 
Vitesse. No, a Rover, Rover Vitesse. Rover Vitesse. That's... But yeah, he's done miracles in that car. That's not a very fast car, yeah. but yeah, look at all the DNFs. That was bonus suspension issue, engine issue for Chernenko. Look at all the engine issues as well. Yeah, two gearboxes, one think... DNF from Bishop after just being stalled in the pit lane. Yeah, I think... I think um, disappointment for um, Turing Kaur for uh, suspension issue yeah. on the also lap. just Luciana Hamburger didn't even have didn't even do a lap so I mean she uh, she Hamburger started, didn't even do she a started the race though so she will be classified as a starter in her class yeah, yeah overall, Hamburger, overall. Hamburger literally left the grid going into the first corner the high intensity like first lap and everything and your car just breaks down on you into the book amazing <laughs> right thank you so much for coming to this race where are we going next time to do this um i will have to have a check it is we are going to zandvoort next for the race oh the yes zandvoort i mean oh, that's gonna be. we all know what zandvoort sh can do right i mean if you look at f1 this season we know what Zandvoort can do so amazing race Just thank you so much yep thank you so cool. much for watching uh see you next time for the dutch Grand for the race of the netherlands sorry uh yeah and that will be all from us that's it from me and that's it from toodles be sure to be yes. safe and always and wear your seatbelt bye bye